What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, we're going to talk about the game Dragon Spirit, which was released in the arcade by Namco. And it was released on different uh, home consoles like the uh, Commodore 64, the Atari ST, the TurboGrafx 16, and the NES. Now, the plot of the game is that uh, a the evil serpent demon called Zywell pretty much escaped from his prison and kidnapped Princess Alicia and a soldier named uh, Amul was chosen to rescue her. And for the sake of this review, I'm going to talk about the um the uh, TurboGrafx 16 version, but practically the rest of the, the, the other versions of Dragon Spirit are pretty much the same. You know what I'm saying from a general standpoint. Now, there's pretty much nine stages in Dragon Spirit where you fight um, different creatures, you know what I'm saying, on the ground and in the air and stuff like that. Now, um, you can pretty much shoot um, and hit flames at the uh, enemies that fly, and you shoot and drop bombs on enemies on the ground, and um, some are also in the water, but the point is you drop the bombs on the ones on the ground, you know what I'm saying. Now you can pretty much get um, power ups in the game, which um gives the character um extra heads for double and triple the firepower when it comes to the flames and bombs and stuff like that, which does help. You know what I'm saying with the, like the number of enemies that pretty much come at you. You know what I'm saying. Now um. The enemies in the game are pretty much animals like um, alligators, self, shellfish, um, peacocks, and bees, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And there's um, a boss in each game, you know what I'm saying? Like um, Phoenix, um, Parent Spider, uh, Death Guardian, Sea Devil, um, Turn Guard, and the main enemy himself sidewell and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Now before you face Sidewell in the final stage, you do face a um sub boss named Hydra, you know what I'm saying, which is a three headed dragon and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Now um as the game progresses the the game will get progressively harder, you know what I'm saying? Be mainly because of the fact that um more uh, enemies like will come at you in a more consistent um basis, you know what I'm saying? As you as you um go through <coughs> excuse me. As you, as you go through each stage and stuff. No now with that, this is why it's very important when you get your powers that you keep them, you know what I'm saying? Because you can get hit and die uh, real easy, you know what I'm saying? You know, so your strategy should be similar to um say like Contra, Castlevania, and Ninja Guy on the NES, you know what I'm saying? Once you get um your weapons, of course you wanna keep them throughout the course of the game and stuff. Now the um graphics and design of Dragon Warrior are pretty good and it has a nice color palettes to it, you know. Now the um controls are and powers are pretty good. You know, and I, along with the gameplay, of course, you know what I'm saying, um, and the power ups in my opinion does help a lot, you know what I'm saying. Now, the soundtrack is pretty good, and it's quite possibly the best um, aspect of the game, you know what I'm saying. And the main gripe of Dragon Warrior, in my opinion, would be the um, difficulty, mainly because of the number of enemies that come at you, you know what I'm saying, in the game. But it doesn't ruin it, you know what I'm saying, because of the um, power-ups that you get and everything. Now, Dragon Spirit is a, is a good game that ended up being underrated, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying. Now... I would be honest enough to say that Dragon Spirit is a game that I would recommend to anybody, especially um, retro gamers and um, fans of, shoot, of the shoot 'em up genre and stuff like that. Because Dragon Warrior, in my opinion, is a hidden gem. You know, now far as a um, score, I, I definitely give it an eight out of ten and everything. 
Now, with that being said, sound off in the comment section about Dragon Spirit. It, it don't matter on which version that you want to talk about, whether you like the NES version, the Turbo Graphics 16 version, or even the arcade version, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever you want to talk about in, in terms of Dragon Spirit, you can you can speak your mind and stuff like that. If you're liking this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. This is your boy, Big Mr. Fan 12, signing off.